All right, guys, it's Adam Trigger, wagertalk.com, and I need about five minutes of your time to tell you how you're going to make money on the Hampton Pirates this college basketball season. But first, I want to tell you about a promo I have that should make you money as well. That's my entire season of college basketball picks starting November 4th and going right through championship Monday for just $3.95. It's the lowest price we're going to offer all season on this using coupon code TRIGCBB. That's T R I G C B B. Full season, lowest price it'll be offered for all year. I'm up close to 50 units in profit in college basketball across the last two seasons, and I plan on doing it again this year. So hope you join me for that. But today I'm going to tell you how we're going to make money on one of the quote-unquote worst teams in the Colonial, the Coastal Athletic Association. I'll probably do that a few more times this year as now the CAA for the second or third year is the Coastal. Uh, still getting used to that, but... You look at a team like Hampton, and you look at the bottom half of this league, and I think where it's going to be different from last year to this year is some of these lesser teams in this league are not going to be quite as bad as they were a season ago. There's more parity in, let's you know, let's say, the 8 to 15 range in this league. We started to see it last year in the conference tournament. I think we're going to see it in the regular season this year. Now, why do I think we can make money with Hampton? Well, they're across the board in a lot of these CAA previews you know, they're being picked last, second to last, considered to be the worst team. I'm not sure that you can matter of factly say that at this point. You have a brand new coach and a lot of new players, but I don't think on paper that right now you can call this team the worst team. So let's look at their roster real quick. First, let's start with the coach. Uh, Ivan Thomas comes from Georgetown, also from Providence. He was one of Ed Cooley's assistant at Providence. He was a, the associate head coach at Georgetown last year. That's huge because he replaces Buck Joyner, who was at Hampton for 15 years. And without getting into it, I just don't think Buck Joyner was the guy to coach a team in the Coastal, in the coastal, in a league of this caliber. He came from Hampton when they were in the MEAC years ago. Uh, they, you know, This is a team that moved up the ranks quickly. Um, MEAC to Big South, Big South to CAA. Uh, and he just isn't the caliber of a coach. You know, you look at the top half of this league, Chris Mack coaching Charleston. Uh, Pat Scary has a great team at Towson this year. Just not the caliber of coach that's going to win in this league. So we don't know anything about Thomas yet, but we do know he comes from a, a pretty successful program um, with Cooley in those years at Providence and, and a big program. And I think that can maybe translate to, to a little bit more, you know, just, just a little bit more construction of a program here because that's really what we saw with Hampton in the last couple of years kind of a free-for-all in this conference not much direction very little defense didn't ever feel organized a lot of guys missing time with injury it was just kind of a mess and, and I think Thomas will help to uh to alleviate that sooner than later now I talked about the roster you're going to recognize some of these names Noah Farrakhan from West Virginia he was good at Eastern Michigan. I think he can be good kind of going back down to the mid-major ranks. K.J. Satterfield from UAB didn't play a ton there, but but still a guy that I still think probably a little bit better than he showed. Like, he didn't get a ton of chance to show what he can actually do last year. Wasn't getting a ton of minutes at UAB. Um, Thomas brings Wayne Bristol with him from Georgetown. He's a guy that played 20 minutes a game at Georgetown last year. Xavier Long's a guy that I really like. If you go back to my preview on Canisius last year, I made a I thought he would be kind of the the one of the key guys to that team being good. He ends up going down and missing the entire season. So, you know, I think he could, you know, potentially play a big role having sat out last year. Now he's going to try his senior season at Hampton and then arguably the most important one and this was huge in my opinion for this Hampton program is the fact that Kyrie Mullen decided to stay and continue his career here because that was Hampton's best player last year. So even though they lose a ton of guys, they bring back their leading scorer and rebounder Mullen last season, uh, you know, 14.8 points per game, 8.4 rebounds and on a team that was in total disarray at times. So I actually think he could flourish with, you know, a program that at least in Thomas might have a little bit more structure, probably, you know, Farrakhan's a guy that I think can feed him down low and he should should have a better team. So the obvious reason that they're going to be at the bottom of this league is growing pains. New coach, young staff. First year, you know, it's going to be Thomas's first year coaching 
at the Division One level. He's only been an assistant this point. But that doesn't mean he can't have more success than Hampton did last year. And when I look at this roster on paper, up against some of the other rosters that are in the CAA, I, I don't think this is necessarily the worst roster. So from a betting standpoint, why is that important? It means Hampton is probably going to be priced as an absolute bottom-tier option. And, you know, if if they can come along sooner than later, get on the same page, a veteran like Farrakhan, some of these other guys that that have some experience, Hampton could be better than what the market suggests. So I'll be looking to see how this team kind of plays in the non-conference. There's some easy, winnable games there. But anything sort of redeeming is going to make me want to take some some big numbers with Hampton once they get to conference play. So the Hampton Pirates, best prediction I can make here, I don't think they finish last in this league. It's a big league. There's 15 teams. In the bottom of that league, there's wins to be had. And I think Hampton probably wins more of those than you expect. It'll translate to you making money if you look for spots to take them with the points in Colonial Co- Coastal Athletic Associate, Association play this year. That's our preview on Hampton. Check out my college basketball special and join me for the season. Coupon code TRIGCBB. I think we're going to have a great year, and I hope you're part of it. We'll see you next time.